एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम टेलर सीरीज साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स द ट्रिक्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन द फंडामेंटल फंक्शन एंड रिलेटिंग अ फंक्शन टू सीरीज you have done in your 12th class but how how you get uh, the series of fundamental functions like sin x cos x tan x e to the power x then log x that is basically uh, the concept of that comes by taylor series concept hello everyone now uh, welcome to s chand academy i am dr seema thakran For engineering mathematics, please refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The e-book link is given in the description box below. So let's understand and let's connect a function to a series by Taylor series. So I'll start with what exactly a Taylor series and how we write Taylor series for any function, and then I'll take up uh, the series of uh, fundamental uh, functions. And we have fundamental functions: sine x, cos x. tan x e to the power x log x so taylor series taylor series uh, we start with a function so let fx be a function and we talk about a series uh, uh, concept at a particular point so taylor series we uh, for taylor series i have considered a uh, one function and let x equal to a be the point then the taylor series of taylor is the name of the mathematician so it t should be capital so taylor series of f at x equal to a is defined as f x equal to f a plus x minus a f dash a plus x minus a whole square by 2 factorial f double dash a and so on the next term will be you can see the pattern now x minus a whole cube by 3 factorial f triple dash a and because it is a series it keeps going the summation will uh, has no end so this is this a uh, series for a particular function fx at particular point a suppose a is 0 then the series taylor series will be fx equal to i am putting a a 0 now so f 0 plus x f dash 0 x minus 0 whole square and f double dash 0 plus and so on <clears throat> so this was at any random point a and this is at zero point whenever we put or we discuss the series at zero uh, we call that particular series as maclaurin series we have done the convergence and divergence of so many series here also we'll discuss but we have some standard or some uh, uh, something which i i'll connect uh, now in for checking the convergence here i'll connect the continuity of the function with the convergence of the series because i am connecting function uh, in terms of series so function continuity will now answer the convergence of the series so this is the series form uh, taylor series form my first example will be to discuss the taylor series is sin x and because uh, we have already in 12th class we learned the series but we don't know how we get it and here uh, this uh, uh, in this lecture we are learning how we get it i'll discuss at x equal to 0 so at x equal to 0 my series is i say taylor series or maclaurin both are the same thing so maclaurin series what to do now fx equal to i am writing the formula first f0 plus x f dash 0 
plus x square by 2 factorial f double dash 0. And this is very helpful because the, uh, in this case you are learning only one formula. But if uh, somebody asks you like what is sin x series or sin x formula, cos x formula, then if you know this formula, you can easily figure out. Otherwise, you forget after some time. So it's better you learn this series. This is very helpful for uh, formula learning. So now f0 plus this and I write one more term that is x cube by 3 factorial f triple dash 0 and so on. Now, uh, this is the series. What are the values I need? f0, f dash 0. These values I will find out and I will put in this series and I will get my answer. Then I will check the convergence. So, fx is, now first is fx is sin x. My fx is sin x. So, what will be f0? Sin 0, that is 0. What is f dash x? Derivative of this, cos x. What is f dash 0? Cos 0, that is 1. Now, what is double derivative? So, what, what will be the de double derivative? That is minus sin x. If I put 0, what will be the answer? 0. Now, triple. The final last term. Derivative will be minus cos x. What will be the value at 0? Minus 1. So, I got all my derivatives values at 0. Now, I will put in this uh, formula. Finally, I am getting fx equal to, and fx is what? Sin x. Sin x equal to, okay, one more thing, the function should be infinitely differentiable because when I am considering the Taylor series, for any function, the function should be infinitely differentiable uh, for uh, any point for which we are discussing the Taylor series. f0 is 0 plus x into 1 plus x square by 2 into 0 minus x cube by 3 factorial into plus and yaha this this and again 0 and so on. If you remember the series, this is exactly the sin x series. Now the plus point is this is power series. In my just previous lecture, I did power series and power series I checked by radius of convergence that when the series will converge and diverge, sin x function is continuous everywhere, continuous everywhere. It means this series is converging everywhere. It means if it is converging everywhere, I can, on the basis of that, I can conclude that my R is infinity. This is how I link the continuity part with the series convergence and you can see this is continuous everywhere. It means this is converging everywhere and it means R is infinity. So this is uh, Taylor series at any point at point zero and one example sin x, sin x series uh, we have got. Now I will come to cos x. So, cos x is the function and now this time not at 0, I take x equal to 1. For x equal to 1, what will be the series? The series will look like fx equal to f1 plus x minus 1 f dash 1 plus x minus 1 whole square by 2 factorial f double dash 1 and so on. Now, f1. So, what is my fx? Cos x. What will be f1? Cos 1. This value, you cannot calculate directly. This comes by calculator. So, right now, I am writing it cos 1 only. Then, f dash x. What is derivative of cos x? Minus sin x. What will be f dash 1? Minus sin 1. Then, the second derivative and then the third derivative. So, the second derivative will be uh, minus cos x because minus, uh, sin x derivative is cos x. So, f double dash 1 is minus cos 1 and now finally the third derivative and it is sin x only and sin 1. 
I put up the values and I'll get my series at particularly at x equal to 1. So my fx that is cos x and f1 is how much cos 1 plus x minus 1 then minus sin 1 x minus 1 whole square by 2 factorial into minus cos 1 plus x minus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial into sin 1 and so on. So this is how we uh, got the cos x function series at 1. Now for the convergence again, cos function is con uh, conver converging everywhere, the continuous everywhere. It means this series will also con converge at every point. The same concept r will be infinity but now because we are we are just uh, we always need fx at the series at 0 mainly if you see in any of the like uh, mathematics concept we always want to know cos x in terms of series uh, at x equal to 0 so i just write that also at x equal to 1 i have already discussed now f0 plus x f dash 0 i have already done uh, my half part in the previous example i'll just put up the values so, this is my fx. So, what will be cos 0? 1 plus. So, f0 is 1. Then x f dash 0. It means my this is my f dash x. If I will put uh, 0, sin 0 will be 0. Plus x square by 2 factorial. What is f double dash 0? My f double dash is minus cos x. So, it will be minus 1. Then plus the next term will be 0. And it means my series is and then I can extend the pattern x4 by 4 factorial and so on. This is my cos x series you should learn even because uh, most of the time you are supposed to write the series of cos x sin x and uh, this is part 1. In part 1 we did uh, what is Taylor series and uh, how we check the convergence and divergence of the Taylor series. Then how we write sin x and cos x Taylor series for particularly x equal to 0 point and for a different point that is x equal to 1. In part 2, we will be covering uh, uh, or we will be writing exponential function, logarithmic function, Taylor series. For engineering mathematics, please refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The book is uh, very good and you find the concepts very easy very easy explanation for the questions, for the theorems, for the concepts. So please refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. Please like, share and subscribe S. Chan Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates. Stay connected, stay tuned, keep watching the upcoming videos. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.